Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Mario Doctor here for another review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at MC Soft Emergency Kit. The exact product version is 9.0.0 build 4523. Given this early build date, I would assume this probably came out right around when MC Soft Anti Malware version 9 came out. And we can also see that they are using the dual scanner, which is powered by both MC Soft and Bitdefender scanning engine both of which are very reputable engines, so I thought it'd be interesting to test this malware removal product today. It's pretty simple to use. It's a free download off of their website. They do have a couple other malware removal tools they offer. I know they offer one command line scanner, but we are using their emergency kit because that's number one, the most popular, and there's also a user interface, so I figured that'd probably be the better way to go. But generally speaking, the settings are very simple to set up the toolkit. And also when I went under settings, when I first opened up MC Soft Emergency Kit, I was prompted for the detection of potentially one of programs. And the way they worded it, I would assume that most average users would enable the detection of potential one of programs. So that is what I did. There's not too many settings to go into, but under quarantine rescan, so basically any items that have been quarantined by MC Soft but not deleted, it is set to automatically and silently scan those files after a signature update. I don't know the frequency of which, but it's set to scan those quarantine files to verify that they are malicious. So if it may have a false positive and it quarantined a legitimate file, if it found in a reoccurring scan that the file was in fact safe, then it would restore it from quarantine. Always good to have that rollback feature if you would want, if you would want to call it that. But user interface is pretty simple. We have an update, scan, quarantine, and logs. You can see we just updated 18 minutes ago. I'm going to check for updates one more time here. We're all up to date. Under scan, just as I have with the other malware removal videos up to this point, I'm going to run a full system scan to give NCSoft the best opportunity possible to remove the malware. And like on my other reviews, Task Manager has been disabled in normal Windows operating mode. MS Config is showing a bunch of startup programs, and our firewall has been continuously disabled regardless of our attempts to enable it. And we also have our homepage changed, I think a couple toolbars, but now we will just wait until MCSoft finishes scanning, and then we will see the results. And this is the exact same state the virtual machine has been in for the reviews so far in the series. So that shouldn't really be any different. And I'll be back once the scan is complete. Hello everybody, I'm back. MCSoft Emergency Kit finished scanning. We're just getting this prompt right after the scan finished, letting us know that high-risk object was found during the scan. Click Quarantine selected to remove the infections for free now. So if we click Close, we see we have 575 detected items. They are labeling the risk from high to no. Not seeing any meat. There we go. We got a medium. So no, medium, and high risk threats. Uh, engine A is their own anti malware engine, and then engine B is Bitdefender's engine that caught that threat. So noticing a lot of B, and then but we do have a lot of A's. But it looks like more Bitdefender based detections were found over their own anti malware engine. But regardless, I'm going to select Delete Selected, which will delete all of them. And then once this is done, and we can see that it's deleting all the threats, once this is done, I will boot back up into the normal Windows operating mode. And then I'll run a scan with Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, Super Anti Spyware, Norn Power Racer, and ESET Online Scanner, and maybe even Komodo Cleaning Essentials, and then I'll be back. Hello, everybody, I'm back. Hitman Pro finished scanning. It appears it found one file in Windows. Interestingly, Bitdefender actually is the engine that detects this threat. And if we remember, MCSoft Emergency Kit incorporated the Bitdefender scanning engine as well. So, and then we have this ass.com bar, not, I think it's already on the system. Then we have this FLV player and a couple tracking cookies. Norton Power Racer found three registry entries and then appears to be something in app data roaming. 
super anti spyware found three items. It appears it found three tracking cookies. And then Malwareboids found 19 malicious items and four non malware items. It appears we have a potential wanted program, Trojan.fake, Google, Backdoor Agent, Stolen Data. And it appears we have some registry keys right here. If we check to see if we have regained access of Task Manager, we see that we have. I'm noticing any really strange processes in memory right now. We do have this one registry cleaner, but as I mentioned in the last review, I just put a few registry cleaners in this malware test machine to see whether or not the scanners would detect the threats. And then we have a couple startup entries that were left behind. They can pretty easily be disabled, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. And if we look on Windows Firewall, it appears that we were able to enable it once again. So overall, I'm pretty satisfied with how MCSoft performed in this review. I think that it is a very good free scanner, especially how they incorporate both the Bitdefender and their own scanning engines. And as we can see, they removed a lot of threats that are on the computer. So in that regards, I am very satisfied with how they performed. So I think that'll be about it for this review. Take from as you wish, and I will talk to you later.